Guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. So, if your zucchini is rotting or uh, turning yellow, the green ones, or even for your squash plant, this this will work. Uh, this will help for both zucchini or squash. So, basically, your zucchini could fall off even before open up the flower to get pollinated. And sometimes the flowers is open up and the zucchini is growing and out of the roots, rotting in the end. So, that's two separate problem right there: the before the flower and after the flower. It's two different things when it's come down to that. So before the flower, your zucchini is this small, the flower didn't open up and it just rotten or it fall off or it just turned fully yellow. That could be your plant is under stress. So simple, what to do is basically, basically just add some fertilizer to your plant. It probably needs some organic fertilizer. So whatever fertilizer you guys add. So if you're new and you don't know what to add, you could add like some organic garden tone. I'm going to leave some organic fertilizer in the link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. And that will help your plant. Um, that So that will help your plant stay up to date with nutrition. So we emulate one problem there. The next thing, if the weather is really hot and you're not watering enough, it could stress out the plant and that could lead to another problem of losing your fruit early stage. So you got to make sure you water enough when it's hot, guys. And another thing, you got to stick with your water routine. If you're watering every morning, stick with watering every morning if, you're, if it's really hot. If it's not that hot, you water, you can water, you know, uh, two to three days. But do it in the morning. Stick with a routine so your plant know it. Another thing, do not water above your plant. Water to the soil. Don't wet the leaves. You wet the leaves, you're going to burn them up during this, the hot weather. So water from their soil. So once you guys do that, if you add organic fertilizer, if your plant is in a container or is in the ground and you need fresh soil, add fresh soil. Make sure the root is not showing above or anything like that. If the weather is over 100 degrees and your plant is really in stressed out mood, that could still be a problem. But if you're not 100 degrees and your, your plant, plant is up to date with everything, you shouldn't be having that problem. But if you're still having the problem, say, say let's say you water... You put organic uh, fertilizer, you, your watering schedule, you're sticking on a watering schedule, you have fresh soil and you still have the problem, just give it a couple days. You have to wait, just be a little patient and give it a little time, it will bounce back and your plant will produce. So if you're new and you're wondering why is this guy giving advice about zucchini or squash plant, right now I still have over 25 plants of zucchini and squash plant. I had more, I lost a lot from vine border. So I do have experience when it comes down to squash and zucchini. Everybody deal with the problem different, but this will work for me. And if it works for me, it works for you. Now the other one, when your zucchini with flowers open up, your zucchini is growing. It could be like four or five inch and it's growing and you're like, wow, it's awesome. It's going good. But then out of the blue, you see it starting getting rotten at the bottom. Or it's starting getting yellow, you know, and, and then you're losing your fruit. Now that could be because of calcium that's the one main thing or the other one it could be didn't pollinate properly because you got to remember in when the bees bring the pollen to the flower they have to make sure they have enough pollen to pollinate it's something they they bounce around to so many plants and they come to the last one and they don't have enough pollen in in there so what happened is it doesn't pollinate properly when if it doesn't pollinate properly it will grow but then it will eventually fall off and another thing could be is uh, calcium. Sometimes your most of the squash plant, zucchini plant need high calcium, higher calcium. So what you could do, uh, add your fertilizer with the, the calcium that has calcium. Or you could get garden lime, which I use, check the link in the description, and it will fix that problem. It's basically blossom and rotten, and it works for tomatoes and stuff like that. Now, now let's say you add your calcium and you come out and your pollination is the only problem. Come out in the morning and hand pollinate. Check in my playlist video. I have a video how to, how to hand pollinate if you don't know. Now the other thing is that once you add your calcium and you're still having this problem, you have to water a little bit more. Because what happens sometimes you'll have the calcium but you did not water enough to break it down so the root to observe it. So sometimes give it a couple days, let the water uh, break it down. Don't go, don't add the calcium, add a little bit of water and then leave it for four or five days. No, come back and water in the morning. If you have to water every morning lightly just to break down that calcium so your plant can observe it, then do it. That's how it's going to work. I'm going to go and harvest one of my zucchini right now to show you guys that. I can see one right there. It's basically pulling the plant down. So I'm going to try to go ahead and harvest that and get that out of the way. This plant had so much problem. But um, 
it's gonna grow um I'm gonna get it back to up to date as you see that beautiful 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 zucchini no rotten problem here see that so you see that right there guys that one was pollinated and you see there's no rottening so it has no problem and this plant was attacked by vine borders and squash bugs and everything else but you see i have my another female coming in there i have enough bees to pollinate so i do not have to hand pollinate if you guys don't have bees hand pollinate in the morning time so you don't lose your fruit so i have a bunch more uh coming up over there so on this morning i grabbed a couple too uh and my daughter came in and helped him so my daughter loves to do it one of my many zucchini that i harvest so if you've been following me guys you know i harvest a lot and um you know whatever i've been going through with all the bugs and all the stress from the plant and stuff like that it's still surviving and it's still going and right now if you're new i'm in long island new york zone 7a uh, we're going to be heading into fall time soon so we don't have a long more time with this uh summer plant so basically what i've been doing is pruning I added fresh soil, uh, used coffee ground, and I, be, I prune a lot to keep it up to date. So this way, I'm, I'm actually forcing the plant to just push more energy uh, towards my fruit so they could grow faster. So these guys have been growing faster. If you're new and you need garden fertilizer or you want to, or you want to get your hands on some garden stuff, check in the link in the description, guys. So I get really stressed. I want to look, lose a zucchini or stuff like that. But what to do, guys, when you see they're rotting, I do not leave it on your plant. Cut it out. And if you're, if you're in a zone and you don't have much time, learn how to prune your plant if you don't know. Check out I have videos how to prune it. Pruning, pruning helps uh, speed up the, the process really fast. Alright guys, so go ahead and try all that step, you know, add nutrition to your plant, fertilizer, calcium, uh, make sure if you need fresh soil and uh, make sure you stick with the watering and make sure you water and if you need pruning, pruning, check out my videos for more. And you guys shouldn't have no problem with uh, having rotten on the bottom or anywhere with you. And it works with zucchini, it works with squash. So go ahead and do that with the same thing, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching Green Tea Garden. I really appreciate everyone. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden, guys. And please subscribe. Click the bell icon. It's 100% free. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and the tip was helpful. And I really appreciate everyone who's been supporting right now. Um, I, I got a couple more days. I'm gonna be checking on my watermelon. So I have my uh, Watermelon harvest to come up to show you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest that coming up uh, during next week And thank you guys so much for everyone who's been watching and support me guys. I really really appreciate it as I always said And I'll see you guys next time on green tea garden